Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars figure review. The final figure we're going to take a look at from Episode 4 A New Hope as part of the Vintage Saga collection now is Luke Skywalker in his X-Wing gear. Um, out of the set of five figures from the Vintage Saga collection, personally this one is the weakest. Um, not Nothing really against the figure, I mean it's a great figure, articulation is awesome, accessory amount is great and uh, overall sculpt is very good as well but the one thing that I would change more than anything about this guy is the height of the figure he is really really short and I'm not even exaggerating about that if we take for example a Han Solo you'll see just how short he is I mean we all know that Luke's shorter than Han but come on that's ridiculous so yeah that could have done with a slight bit of improvement but it's not something I'm going to complain too much about before we get onto the figure, we are indeed going to take a look at the packaging that he comes in. And while the figure itself is probably my least favourite from this set, the card back is awesome. I absolutely love it. Um, to me, this is probably the best of the set and also the most retro looking. Don't ask me why, I just love it. You've got the uh, generic Star Wars logo at the top, name tag underneath, image of Luke climbing the X-Wing ladder, and you've also got the image... Uh, sorry, the figure obviously encased in his plastic prison on the front. I think it's the combination of colour that I really like about this figure more than anything else. Obviously you've got a nice blend of oranges and blues and it just looks really lively and really cool. And once again you do have Luke in the protective star case which has the uh, Saga Collection logo on the front. On the back of the box you've got the original X-Wing pilot Luke as well as the vintage description at the side and the rest of the figures pictured across the bottom. Now this is a figure that has been recycled numerous times by Hasbro, um, more re most recently in the Vintage Collection 3 packs. Um, this one was packed alongside Han Solo and Obi-Wan Kenobi, and there were no differences between this figure and that one. So, you know, if you're after uh, this figure, then that's probably the way to get it now. So there is the packaging onto the figure itself. Um, as I said, aside from the uh, overall height of the figure, um, the rest of it is pretty damn good. Um, you can indeed remove the helmet and underneath he's got not an accurate facial sculpt by any means but still not a bad one. Um, don't ask me why but this still remains one of my favourite Luke head sculpts. I actually have no idea why because it looks nothing like it but uh, it does look very cool regardless. Um, as I said, he does have, of course have the removable helmet with the uh, rebel insignias all over it, which look very, very cool. Now, th this helmet isn't actually the same sculpt as the helmet that we've seen on figures such as Dagbar Luke, uh, Dak Ralter, or the Wedge Antilles that was included with the X-Wing. Um, this is actually a much worse sculpt, and there's no really, you know, pleasant way of sugarcoating it. Um, it's not a bad helmet, but it just looks a little bit awkward on the figure. Um, it looks more like a cycle helmet than an X-Wing pilot helmet because it, it really does sort of warp itself around the face rather than just sort of sitting on the head, um, which I don't think it should do. It looks a little bit weird. Maybe that's just me being picky, but it just looks a little bit crap compared to uh, the newer helmets we've seen. In terms of other accessories, he does of course come with his trademark blue lightsaber and he also has a hilt attached to his belt. Um, now, funnily enough, the hilt that is included on the belt is actually incorrect. This is Darth Vader's lightsaber. Now, you can tell that by the uh, ignition button on the uh, around the, well, the grip of the blade, the hilt even, is black, whereas on Luke's it's silver and it's actually the grip that's black. Um, so you can really tell the differences between those hilts. He also comes with a blaster pistol, which is nowhere near as good as the uh, the newer pistols we've seen with figures such as Dengar and once again Dagobah Luke. Um, he also has, of course, the pilot chest box and the hoses and the flight gear attached to the legs. And in terms of articulation, Luke has a ball jointed neck, ball hinged shoulders, elbows, and swivel wrists. A ball jointed torso, swivel hips, ball hinged knees and ball hinged ankles. So once again, by no means a bad figure, just something that you know could be improved. I mean we've seen awesome, awesome pilot versions of Luke with the Snowspeeder Luke and the Dagobah Landing Luke. 
So there's no reason why uh, Hasbro couldn't go back and uh, give us an upgrade on this guy because he needs it. Um, my most favourite incarnation of this particular figure, or my most favourite repaint, is the one that was included with the Droid Factory 2 pack um, back in 2008, and this is him here. Um, personally, I find the head sculpt is a lot better if I just compare it to uh, the figure in the packaging. Just the way it's been painted looks a lot better. Um, the jumpsuit isn't quite as uh, luminous, and uh, I don't know, this figure just looks a lot better in my opinion, but that's just me. So yeah, great card back, great packaging, something that I would definitely recommend for carded collectors, uh, but the figure itself, not so great. Um, I have had this one in my collection for quite a while, I mean some people will say, well if you don't like the figure then why buy it, but at the time when it was released this was awesome, and it's still pretty good, but just not as good as it could be so yeah well you can't win them all but there we go anyway that is x-wing pilot gear luke skywalker from the vintage saga collection and i'll be back with two more reviews from this line next so stay tuned for those and as always until next time keep collecting and may the force be with you